This video will demonstrate how to install Skyrim Redone so that it is compatible with a number of other popular mods. So let's say, for example, that you want to play Skyrim with more weapons, more armor, more spells, and more types of enemies, all with Skyri. Also, you want enemies to have access to the same new spells and perks that you do. I'll show you how to do that in this video. First, there is a number of prerequisites you'll need. First, you'll need Dawnguard and Dragonborn, as well as the Skyrim script extender, in order to satisfy a number of mod prerequisites. Also, you'll need a mod organizer such as Nexus Mod Manager or Rybash. You'll also need Rybash in order to generate a bashed patch, and you'll need loot to sort your load order. Now there's two difficult parts to this whole process. The first is just figuring out what you need to download, and the second is working with the Skyproc patchers. But for right now, let's cover the first item. First, you'll need Immersive Weapons, and it's just one download. Next is Immersive Armors, again, just one download. After that is the Apocalypse mod. Be sure to get the most recent version, which is not the top one, but this one right here. Apocalypse Mod also has a Skyrim compatibility patch, so you'll want to pick that up as well. Next is the Immersive Creatures Mod. It's just one download. In its documentation, it mentions that it's compatible with Skyrim Redone uh, if it uses a bashed patch. So that's one reason we're using Rybash. Next is Asus. It's just one download. If you look at the sticky post, it mentions that there are improved any files. I would suggest using that here. The improved any files makes Asus more compatible with a number of the DLCs such as Dawnguard and Dragonborn, as well as the Immersive Creatures mod and Skyri. Next is Skyrim Redone itself. It's just one download. Skyri strongly recommends using the Skyrim Community Uncapper in order to make skill levels level up more appropriately for Skyri. So pick this up as well. Now Skyri changes stats on vanilla weapons and armor, but not those added in by mods such as immersive weapons and immersive armor. To fix this, you need to use the Reprocker, which can be found here. However, the Reprocker is kind of bad at reassigning stats on its own, so you need to help it out with this, the Skyri Compatibility and Reprocker patches, which you can get right here. However, the Reprocker patches do not fix immersive weapons and immersive armors on, the, on their own you need to get a third mod in order for this to work which is the weapons and armor fixes remade right here by the way here with the compatibility and reprocker fixes be sure to pick up the unofficial Skyrim redone patch as well once you've gone through and downloaded all of these files they should show up in the Nexus mod manager and you should have 13 X's and you can start activating them. The order generally doesn't matter, except you should activate Skyri after the community uncapper and activate the unofficial Skyri patch after Skyri. Also, activate the reprocker before the Skyri compatibility and reprocker fixes. You should also install the Asus improved Inis file after Asus itself. When you activate the Inis file, Say yes to all to overwrite all of the old any files. When activating Skyrim Redone, select all of the modules that you want to install. I want to use all of them except for the survivalism because I don't use Frostfall. When it asks to overwrite the uncapper any file, say yes to all, so you use the Skyri custom any file.
When installing the unofficial Skyrim Redone patch update, select all of the modules that you selected when you installed Skyrim. And I selected all of them. When it asks to overwrite files, say yes to all. When installing the Immersive Creatures mod, select the main file as well as DLC2 since you have Dragonborn. Also select the Skyree crossbow fix. When installing weapons and armor fixes remade, select this bottom option because you have Skyrim as well as both Dawnguard and Dragonborn DLCs. Under options, select what you want, but I'm going to install all options. For here, select the Immersive Weapons selection since that's a mod that you have. And I'll install the README file. When installing Skyree compatibility and reprocker patches, select this option because you have weapons and armor fixes remade, Immersive Armor, Immersive Weapons, and the Skyree patch. This is why we needed weapons and armor fixes remade. It's because there's no option for just immersive armor and immersive weapons. They all have wafer as well. All these other options are for other mods. If you have them, take a look at them, but I don't have them. So I can skip those, I can skip these, and I can skip this. When it asks to overwrite stuff, say yes to all. Once all of your mods are activated, you can see your plugins here, and now we have to do probably the most difficult part of the whole process, which is creating the bash patch and running all of the patchers in the correct order. So the first thing that you sh should probably do is run Rybash if you've never run it before in order to generate the bashed patch. Running Rybash will create a bashed patch for you. Okay, so now you can close this and run loot. Okay, so now all of the plugins are in the correct order, relatively. Run Rybash again. And scroll towards the bottom. Here's our bashed patch. And what you're going to want to do is deselect everything under it. One thing that loot does incorrectly is it puts Skyree enemy AI up here. You want any AI altering mods to be below the bash patch and actually you want that to be at the very end of your load order. So move it there and deselect it. One other thing I'm going to move is the pre reprocker rate above the reprocker. Now we can build our bashed patch. Okay, so once the bashed patch is uh, rebuilt, activate the ACES dependency plugin. Now find your Skyrim data folder and go to the Skyproc Patchers folder. In the ACES, I'm going to send a shortcut to the desktop. And for the reprocker, I'm going to send a shortcut to the desktop as well. Run the ACES file. And for these options, what I'm going to select, I'm going to deselect that because Immersive Creatures does spawn stuff itself, and I don't like having two mods that do the same thing. I will choose this. This will give enemies the same perks that I have from Skyrim. This will give enemies the same spells that I can use in Apocalypse. I'll also use this to let NPCs use potions and I'll choose this as well.
Once that's done, you can open the Nexus Mod Manager. And now it has an ASUS plugin. Move that right below the ASUS dependency and you can activate it. I'll also activate the pre reprocker, the reprocker, and the post reprocker. Now, for the reprocker file, before you run it, select properties and where this target is. At the end, pass the quotation marks, put a space, dash, and in capital letters, N O B O S S. This will prevent the reprocker from running boss. Now you can run the reprocker and select patch. Okay, once that's done, open the mod manager again and you can activate your last plugin. Now you can launch Skyrim with the Skyrim script extension and it should work.